This is the most dangerous problem in mathematics, one that young mathematicians are warned not to waste their time on. It's a simple conjecture that not even the world's best mathematicians have been able to solve. Paul Erdős, a famous mathematician, said, Mathematics is not yet ripe enough for such questions. Here's how it works. Pick a number, any number. Seven? Good choice. Okay, we're going to apply two rules. If the number is odd, we multiply by three and add one. So three times seven is 21, plus one is 22. If the number is even, we divide by two. So 22 divided by two is 11. Now we keep applying these two rules. 11 is odd, so we multiply by 3, 33, and add 1, 34. Even, divide by 2, 17. Odd. Multiply by 3, 51, add 1, 52. Even, divide by 2, 26. Still even. Divide by 2, 13. Odd. So we multiply by 3, 39, add 1, and that's 40, which is even. So we divide by 2, 20. Divide by 2, 10. Divide by 2, 5 odd. Multiply by 3, 15, add 1, 16, divide by 2, that's 8, and then 4, 2, and 1. Now 1 is odd, so we multiply by 3 and add 1, which equals 4. But 4 goes to 2 goes to 1, so we're in a loop, and the lowest number is 1. Now the conjecture is this. Every positive integer, if you apply these rules, will eventually end up in the 4, 2, 1 loop. This is commonly called the Collatz conjecture after German mathematician Lothar Collatz, who may have come up with it in the 1930s. But the problem has many origin stories and many names. It's also known as the Ulam conjecture, Kakut